is Angie at Stampin' with Amore and today I have a card tutorial for you and it's a pretty quick and simple one. It's um, got little rhinestones on it and it's actually for a friend's birthday. You can put, I mean when it says to a great friend you can put happy birthday, thank you, anything on the inside. Um, I love this stamp set. It's one of our celebration stamp sets. It's called Simply Wonderful. And if you spend $50, um, get $50 in Stampin' Up! product, you can get this free. So uh, this is the stamp set I'm using. And I'm using the To a Great Friend and this little flower right here. You can even put this congrats in the center. I think that would be really cute too. So this one is done in Melon Mambo and it has a little technique to it it's not really hard but I'm going to show you all that in just a second so let's get started the first thing you're going to do is you're going to need a piece of actually this is a 4x4 four four base and it's 8 inches by 4 and then you just score it in half so you have a 4x4 four four. and then we're going to use this time I'm going to use Coastal Cabana so I cut the mat at 3 and 7 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths and then you'll need a piece of whisper white which you'll stamp on and this is 3 and 3 quarters by 3 and 3 quarters. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm using the circle framelits and the one that I'm using is the, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the sixth one from the center and these are the framelits I'm using. And I'm just going to center this in the center of my piece of cardstock and I'm just going to draw on the inside of the circle a really light pencil mark. And that's just going to give me a guide where to stamp my little flower. So I'm going to use the Coastal Cabana ink and this is the little flower that we're using. And the way that I do this that I find it's the easiest when you're going around in a circle is to stamp um, like the top and then I do like the bottom next so they come out pretty even around and then I'm, I'm going to work my way around here and I kind of turn it as I'm going And then I'll do the same on the other side. And you're just using that pencil line as a guide. So that's it. It's that easy. And so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and erase that pencil line. And it's very light and you really can't see it, but you want to make sure you erase it. And then you're ready to stamp in the center. So I'm going to use, instead of the Coastal Cabana, I like the black, and so I'm going to use Memento Black ink on this. And I'm going to again stamp to a great friend. And so I'll just center that. Hopefully I have it centered because I can't get over the top. But that looks pretty good. And then the, what I did is I used some little rhinestones. And I don't know where my little pointy is. So I'm going to just grab my scissors here. And I'm going to grab these little ones. And I'm just going to put these on the centers of the flowers. Okay, so I have all my rhinestones on. You can see they look so cute on there. And then um, 
I did two different bows. I wasn't sure if I was going to like the black one on here, so I went ahead and did one in Coastal Cabana. And I'm I'm using the, um, this, this is the Bermuda Bay. <laughs> That's a little tongue twister. And it's taffeta, the taffeta ribbon. And it's the 1 8 inch. And this is the black one. And I still kind of like the black better, but um, I think I'm going to go ahead and use the Bermuda Bay this time on it. And I'm just going to grab a glue dot and put it on the back. Set it there on the bottom and now we're ready to put it all together. And a good thing to do with this card since it's a different shape is um, you can make your own envelope with the envelope punch board. And I should have done that for you. And I could have put a little stamp. You can stamp the outside of the envelope. It would be really cute with a flower. So I'm going to center this on the card base. And then we're ready to put this on. You can pop this up if you want. I think I'm just going to stick it down. And I'm going to go ahead and put it on here. The first time I did it, I put the rhinestones on after. So um, you probably want to do that because it's harder to put your adhesive on when you know you already have the rhinestones on. So that is it. And isn't that adorable? I think it came out really cute and it's very simple. And just one little stamp and, um, well, you use the same same stamp set, but just one little flower stamp. And I thought they came out really cute. So that's it, everyone. If you need any products, go to my blog at Stamping with the Moray and shop right from my blog as usual. And um, don't forget, Celebration is going on. You can get this stamp set for free if you order $50 in product and it's a great time of year to buy so if you've been thinking about it this is the time to do it because you get fry, free free product <laughs> Boy, I, ha my, I haven't been able to speak really good today I don't know every time I go to say something it gets all twisted around So anyway everyone just have a blessed day and I'll see you Sunday bye